Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So let's start with the today's video. Today's video is about Labrador getting aggressive and attacking. First few videos are about unsocialized Labradors who get aggressive towards owners. Actually, it's more of possessive about the things they love. In the first video, a black Labrador is locked in the cage as we can see in this video and he is having a bow inside his mouth and he growls when the owner or the cameraman tries to get close to him. Actually, it's more of possessive behavior of the dog towards the bone and he wants no one to touch him and leave him alone. If your dog does so, don't try to get close to him, else he'll try to attack or bite you because he don't want anyone to touch him. In the second video, the lab seems to be a good puppy, but as soon as the owner tries to get close to him, he shows the same attitude as we looked earlier. But he is so much calmer than the lab we saw before. He is still very calm than him. But we don't want you to get yourself hurted because any breed of the dog would do the same thing if you try to get closer to that bone. So don't do this stupidity. Following videos are about the Labradors getting aggressive towards the dog. The name of the dog is Charlie. He is very very aggressive and he is never introduced to the other dogs in his life due to which he possesses such behavior. If he is set loose, he will attack and bite that border coolie very badly. Things would get very bad if the owner is not able to control him. This is why big breeds are not for everyone and socializing them should be the first priority and training them is second. These are There are many things that could cause problem. I don't know why. If your dog is not socialized to any other dog, then there is no point in introducing them to other dogs because if one of those is set freely by mistaken, they would cause great damage to them. Like in this video, the lab doesn't like anyone who tries to get close to him. But still, the other boy is trying his German Shepherd to getting close to him. I don't know why again and what do they want to prove by shooting this video. Please do not do this and if you are doing so, make sure the dogs are safe and they don't get much closer. Again, in the third video, both the boys are trying to get their aggressive dogs closer to each other. And it's seen properly in the video, both the breeds that is German Shepherd and Labrador are not at all happy with each other. Just one mistake. And both these dogs will end up hurting each other very badly. But at least they have control over their dogs. I mean, they are strong enough to hold them properly. And their dogs are not dragging them at all, anywhere. If it would have any small children, then they would have dragged them badly. Now, what happens when such dogs are set free? In the first video, dog turns on the owner for no reason. By looking at the video, the boy enters the house and come 2 to 3 steps inside and suddenly this thing happens. I think it's not the owner, it's some kind of caretaker of the dog who did something wrong to him and said something to tease him. That's why I guess he got angry and attacked him, which is surprising and I honestly think it was not expected. Such behavior from Labrador. The boy was safely saved by his friend present over there and they handled the dog safely and the boy was safe too. Yes, freedom is for every single living being on the planet but that doesn't mean you'll take advantage and destroy someone else's freedom. Like in this video, the man has set his Labrador free like anything and that dog is running behind the stray little dog like anything, which is wrong. The Labrador wants to play but the stray little puppy is scared like anything. So please do not do it like this guys. Only release your dog only if other dogs are comfortable too with yours. Well, this was human who was attacked. 
do you know they attack monkeys too and the stupid owners allows them to do so as you can see in this video the lab is set free and allowed to roam anywhere he wants but there are many monkeys in his territory as a responsible owner it's our duty to protect our pet from other animals leaving them off leash on wild animals is one of the worst things you are doing they could harm our pets in which any which ways so please stop what you are doing as you can see leaving dogs like this doesn't make any sense because it could have harm our dogs could have caused rabies if he bites him in the next video the lab was playing with the rottweiler but at no time they can get aggressive and start fighting with each other so please let them play but don't forget to supervise them because both of them are adult and matured and they can get aggressive at any time so please have good supervision over them else it can give birth to variety of problems